I know what I'll do. I can beat Hanuman at the Coliseum. I'll just start with that. Why not? <laughs> you know, instead of starting with Yui, I have an idea. I'll just start with beating Hanuman at the Coliseum. It'll be funny. I can just cut in with, uh, I don't know, the final punch or something, and it'll be fine. Um, but no, you're Kazuma Kiryu, aren't you? Correct, whatever. And who are you? I am Kuniata. Of course you are. I should have brought the girl. <laughs> so you're the consortium second president. I finally found you. I've been looking for a long time. What a coincidence. I've been looking for you, too. I owe you one for what happened ten years ago. Ten years ago? You'll have to refresh my memory. I heard you send an assassin after me, and you told the killer to say it was Sarah's contract. Ah, uh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> the assassin you encountered in jail. Yeah, that was my doing. Why? You killed an officer of the Tojo clan. Retaliation was inevitable. That's not what I'm asking. I want to know why you lied about it being Sarah's order. Why would any of that matter now? Ten years is a long time to hold a grudge. Let's go get a drink. I... I, I thought I saw something. Uh, who are, who are you to say? Uh, I have a question for you as well. I'd like to know the whereabouts of Nishiki. What? You're his oath brother. I figured you would know where he might show up next. What does he have to do with any of this? We're investigating the murder of the first president of the consortium. Who was, as you know, Sarah. And you think it was Nishiki? Yes, I would have thought you'd know that as well. We will find him, and we will kill him. <laughs> Just gotta put the Taken guy over it. Uh, even if uh, he manages to become the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. I get wanting to avenge the chairman internally, but can you give me some time? What do you mean? I can't let you guys kill him. Your vengeance is justified, but can you let me see this through first? I can't. He and you were oath brothers. You may even decide you'd rather help him. And it's obvious you aren't going to take my word for it. You aren't leaving me much uh, choice. I'll have to stop you by force. The Consortium is the most elite unit in the Tojo Clan, and you would face me, its head, alone? Sorry, but I can't let any... Uh, I can't let someone else settle my accounts. This is between me and him. Uh, very well, but we can't cause a scene here. We should take this outside. Then we'll be able to fight without holding back. No. Wait. No, Kiryu, you have to fight a different... <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Yakuza. 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 <laughs> God dang it. Give me a load. Uh, also... I learned that I'm not doing the tiger drop, apparently. It's, uh... Hold on. <laughs> I don't- I don't remember what it was. Um, let me- let me check. Because I thought I'd been using it, but I've apparently been using, um, Essence of Sumo Slap. Uh, tiger drop. R1, then triangle when an enemy attacks. Oh no, it's the timing based. Also, I have to be focused on one person at a time. This is probably the worst possible time to use it. I mean, that, that would have worked there, but details. Alright. <laughs> You try to use a heat action, and this is what you get. Can I grab people? No. <laughs> Can I please grab members of the m Japanese mob? Stop it! Glad I'm gonna go into the Coliseum like this. Because <laughs> I figure I have to um, beat Hanuman for uh, one of the texts. The messages. Uh, I w or email. <laughs> Quote unquote. I win. Avenging Sarah's death falls to me then. 
just as expected from the Dragon of Dojima. No wonder Chairman Sarah held you in such high regard. Yet you, yet you couldn't give him the same. Why did you go against his will and send an assassin after me in jail ten years ago? You're wrong. I didn't go against his will at all. It was Sarah's orders that we send the assassin. I don't understand. If the chairman regarded me so highly, why would he ask you to have me killed? Perhaps I should explain from the beginning. Yeah, that, that's usually a good place to start. Um, <laughs> Sarah wanted you to return to the family as soon as you were able. The proof of this is that he merely expelled you instead of banishing you. But he also knew what you'd done. You'd killed your patriarch. There would be others who would take it upon themselves to assassinate such a man. So, Sarah had to move quickly before any other group secured the initiative. Then the real reason you guys sent 1356 after me. Yes, he was a pawn and part of a masterful play to send a message to any other groups who would make an attempt on your life. Kiryu is the Tojo clan's burden. He's off limits. The assassin did his job. Nobody else in prison or out would have the jur jurisdiction to kill you. Uh, and wouldn't you agree, after that incident, you made it through your ten years in relative comfort. So, you satisfied. So that was his intention. I never figured Sarah would try to protect me by ordering me killed. Uh, don't assume too much. If that assassin had been successful, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. In some ways, the assassin was also a test to see if you were worthy of survival. So it was all part of his plan. I shouldn't have expected less from Sarah, and now I can't even thank him. There would be no need. Sarah wouldn't want, uh, wouldn't have wanted your gratitude. I know, he would have wanted me to do right by the Tojo clan. Indeed. Indubitably. Uh, there's the answer of a man Sarah held in such high regard. Um, should you ever require anything of the consortium, who cares about you? <laughs> it's it's going auto all of a sudden. I can't do anything about it. All right, behind the assassin is done. Now, <laughs> to see a man about some other stuff. He ran off. Fine, I'll take it. I don't care. Just, I don't care. <laughs> Every time I fight him, it's gonna just... Uh, Yellow Dragon Spirit. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, Alright. So, that's finally done. Where... Which one was it? This? No. This? No. Oh. Uh, you'll recover health when you perform heat actions. Ooh! That's really good. Um. Available only when using Dragon of Dojima style transition from finishing blow to throw move. This used up the heat gut. Uh, okay. Uh. Hold on to heat longer than you could before. Break free from a hold and retaliate through sheer force of will. Uh, wrap up an enemy you've grabbed and throw them behind you. The stack then is both strengthened. Okay. Uh, that one probably will be useful. Strongest weapon attack that uses both the bat and dagger to deadly effect. Critical health when equipped with a bat. Okay. Well, I'm assuming that'll automatically show up when, um, uh, after I have all the others. It's like the ultimate reward, I think, probably. Uh, there was something over here, a side quest, apparently. So, oh, is it in, it's in here. Is it, oh, it is. The fake Mizuki's truth. Uh, I got a new lead for you. What is it? The corpse that washed up on Tokyo Bay. After a bit of digging, I've uncovered a couple of interesting details. Seems our dead woman worked in the Champion District at a bar called Perez. What's more, she apparently went by the name Mizuki. As far as I can tell, she could be connected to the real Mizuki. It might be worth looking into. Sounds like a name I've heard somewhere before. Well, it's Paris. <laughs> so, it's, it's just Paris with an E. 
I, I'm sure you've heard it somewhere before. Maybe when talking about France once. Um, Alright, so I guess I could head to the Champion District after this. Or, or, and hear me out, I could not do that and instead go date Yui. Because um, I did kind of promise that. I mean, I guess there's a number of things. Yeah, I'll just make that, like, its own part, I guess. I don't know. Which may... Better have a lot of water near me. Because, uh, geez. Um... I don't know. I'll figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to check West Park and the Red Light District while I'm here uh, for any missing keys or cards. I have ultimately decided Yui. I'll deal with Yui and nothing else until then. So, I don't know how this part's going to go. Um, it might be a little weird because I'll probably stop with one UE date and then just go into the next one and I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> it's fine. Um, what what rank are we even at? You know what? I have I have enough for gold champagne. Let's let's just raise that. Oh. Alright, I guess I was wasting money. <laughs> fine, whatever. I'll get more from the Coliseum. What's wrong? I got hit on a lot today, so I act cold because I want to avoid that. What can I do to make them stop? You know, I guess I do have ulterior motives. I want your side story. Uh, some girls would call that a luxury, but I guess the grass is always greener. Just be firm and tell them to stop. I did tell them. I said I don't like you at all, but it didn't discourage them. Give them a chance. They're jerks. The wording is all wrong. The wording's all wrong. It's all in the wording. Men can be pretty thick, and they only hear what they want to hear sometimes. That's how it is. Love and hate are two sides of the same coin. If they know you feel strongly about them, they think that deep down, they still have a chance. Then what am I supposed to do? You have to act completely disinterested. To a man, negative attention is still attention, so you have to totally shut him out. There's nothing worse for a guy. I see, alright. Next time that guy comes, I'll ignore him. That went so... It didn't go that high up. I guess that was the, like, okay answer? Huh. Uh, like, how can men just spout stuff like you're cute or I like you? Don't they realize they're just embarrassing themselves? But on the other hand, that's pretty normal, isn't it? Uh, maybe they're just trying to flatter you, or maybe they're serious, but what's the problem with them saying it? I could never say that, even if it's to liven up the mood. I can bring myself to say I like you to a customer. How about... I love you. Uh, you have to be professional. You have a pure heart. It's a compliment. Even if you did say it, I don't think the men would take you seriously. It's a compliment! <laughs> no! <laughs> Yakuza choices be like... Alright, uh, I don't know, Kiryu. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Uh, guess I struck a nerve. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> it was probably square. Um... I'll order some food. The most expensive me thing on the menu, of course. Recently I've been stopping by the pet shop before coming into work. There's a really cute toy... There's a... There's a really cute toy poo there. Alright. Toy poo. Oh, a toy poodle. You planning on getting a dog? Is that what she meant? She meant a toy poodle? Oh. Alright. Okay. Don't say it like that. <laughs> um, please don't say it like that. Uh, if I were to get him, I would have to take care of him. That's a lot of commitment to consider. Yeah, feeding, house training, there's a lot to do. That's what- that's why I can't take the plunge yet. What do you think? If you're lonely, take me instead. Oh my god. I love these- these flirting options. Uh, if you have doubts, then don't do it. The sooner you get them, the better. If you have doubts, don't do it. Cause... Yeah, an animal who gets adopted by someone who isn't fully committed is just gonna suffer a lot of heartbreak down the road. 
If you don't have the confidence to take care of him until the end, you don't deserve him. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. I'm doing okay now, but it's not like my job is secure. I'm worried about five or ten years from now. Thanks for the advice, Kiryu. I'll think about getting a dog once I'm confident I can take care of one. You know, I partially wish I could, like, check the dialogue options, like, all of his responses. I know that's, like, cheating, but... <laughs> Still. It's like every time. The other day I was browsing the net and I saw some negative comments about me on a forum. A forum? But... Uh, there's a site where you can leave your impressions about clubs, anyone can write anything on it, good or bad. And someone wrote about me, do you know what they said? I don't know, it was bad, right? How could I even guess? Just try and guess. Oh god, that first... I keep... Alright. It... My thought here is that it has to be the worst one, because it's something... <sighs> it's something that people would say on a forum, and they're complaining about her. So, like, all of these could potentially be the right thing. It's just, she's gonna get upset when I pick the wrong one, and be like, You think I'm not funny? What? <laughs> it's like, you told me to guess! <laughs> Alright, it's the worst one. Let's go. What's that supposed to mean? See, okay. She could have said that about any single one. <laughs> no, that's not how I feel. It's just what I thought of when I tried to imagine some stranger badmouthing you. It rang a bell, didn't it? You were quick to guess it. No, it wasn't. <laughs> if it wasn't on your mind, it wouldn't even come up. You got it all wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> This is stupid. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I had the right thought process. <laughs> it's just that they were all essentially the same thing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> God dang it, Yui. <laughs> I knew no matter what I did, she was gonna react that way. Oh god. It's so low. Alright, you know what? <laughs> I... I don't know, I'm really indecisive. Just... <laughs> when it starts repeating, I can uh, finally cut stuff out. Though I don't really remember the other dialogue options that I've already had. I mean, I might at some point. Um... Let's just go with White Shep Hagney. See, that went really high. That went higher than the gold. Wow. It's like, okay. I can't buy your love. Gotcha. Uh, do you remember when I told you about my sister's boyfriend not too long ago? Yeah, she's going out with the customer, right? Uh, yeah, and I was wondering what he's like, so I asked her to introduce him. But then she tells me she's never gone out with him outside the club, not even once. So all they've done is drink together at the club. Uh, seems that way. Unlike you, your sister handles her customers well, huh? Wow. <laughs> you don't get upset about that. Uh, that's not it. My sister asked him to go on a real date several times, but he still hasn't made any effort to see her outside the club. Is that even possible? Um, wouldn't call that dating. You're being weird. What a weird guy. <laughs> wouldn't call that dating. By a long shot, he's just a customer who happens to request her regularly. I thought so too, but according to my sister, he told her that he likes her and she accepted him. Then they should at least have gone out on a date. Maybe your sister's confused. Wow. What? She's agreeing! Why? Why? Why did that upset you? <laughs> she did, but he didn't even make an excuse. So I'm thinking maybe this guy's already married with children. That'd explain why he doesn't want to see her outside the club. Interesting. Guess that's a possibility. If that's the case, he's having an affair. It won't lead to anything good, so she should end it with this guy, right? Not her business? Nah, she, she should end it. 
if he's willing to have an affair with your sister, he may end up cheating on her too. I was worried you were going to take the man's side. Well, they're not sleeping together, so it could be that he's trying not to hurt her feelings. As long as he's only coming to drink, that's where it should stay. True, even if he's married, he could at least have some fun. But I won't. But I wonder, do the men who hit on me also have wives waiting at home? If they do, I'd hate them even more. Just for the record, I'm single. <laughs> oh, Kiryu. Oh, wait, 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 no. Um... I have to buy some more of your love real quick. Don't mind me. Just, just gonna grab this uh, expensive fruit platter. Who makes them cost that much? Hey, you know our pictures are on our business cards. Uh, we're gonna take new pictures soon, but I hate getting my picture taken out of studio. I'm bad with fake smiles, especially when someone's yelling, Give us a cute smile at me! Uh, my previous picture was a miracle shot after literally hundreds of pictures. That's a lot. <laughs> so when I imagine having to deal with the photo shoot from heck all over again, I get depressed. If a friend take them, just don't even smile. Just, just be depressed. You'll get used to it. Um... Have a friend take them. Then you'd be relaxed and your expression would soften up a little. It's probably that I get nervous around the professional cameraman, right? If it's a friend, they'll already know your most attractive traits and end up with the best shot of you. <laughs> if you were my cameraman, I'm sure I'd be relaxed enough to smile with confidence. I'll just ask a friend. Yeah, I'm sure you'll get a great picture. I've never used a camera before in my life, though. <laughs> Which Yaku's a game, don't answer this seriously, <laughs> has um, a camera hunting like, side quest. <laughs> like, like, taking pictures of various people on the streets, or various things. Either as a scavenger, or a collectible, or something. I could see that happening. Especially with the first person view. Um, we had a new girl start working for us the other day, and she's only 18. Is she even allowed to work here? Of course, but she's not allowed to drink. I see, then she won't be able to contribute much to sales. You'd think, right? But she doesn't have to drink to get a lot of orders in, actually. How's that? For example, even when she orders cocktails, it's actually a virgin. Do, that to, do you do that too? Sounds healthy. That's just a cheap god. Well, it's not that one. Uh, do you do that too? Seems like it would be a compliment. Like, saying that she's younger, maybe? Let's, let's go with that. What do you think? Come to think of it, I've never seen you get even get tipsy. Maybe I can hold my liquor. How about a drinking contest? <sighs> this feels like a trap. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Uh, bring on the strongest stuff you've got. Seriously, you sure? Oh, okay. Hey, sweet. Uh, I'm gonna drink like there's no tomorrow. Alright. Thank god that uh, drinking stuff here doesn't really affect you at all. Alright, let's have that go up to the next rank. And we get a D! Nice. <laughs> Could you imagine if you could actually get drunk from this the hostess stuff like geez you're ridiculous <laughs> why doesn't Gromi work here I'd actually like to request Gromi is there any way to stop that from happening because I'd like that um let's get that one Why do you even need to ask? <laughs> Alright, let's get to the talking. <laughs> Bring it on. You're from around here, right? Have you ever had to relocate for your work? I don't have to worry about that now, but it might happen in the future. Why do you ask? Well, a regular of mine used to come in all the time, but he's transferring back to his main office, so he can't come back. I always thought he was from Tokyo, so I was surprised. 
I see, if he was here all the time, of course you'd assume he lives here too. That's why I was worried that you'd suddenly leave too. That's certainly possible. I'll always be by your side and won't go anywhere. Really? Then what if you do actually get transferred? Are you going to commute from Osaka or something? Maybe. Or I could just quit my line of work and just stay here. Seriously, I question your judgment as an adult. I'm happy you feel that way. God, she's so stupid. Uh, do you ever think about leaving this club to do something else? If I had some dream I wanted to fulfill, I'd work harder to sell more drinks and worry about getting more requests. But I'd also get closer to my regulars in the process. If I did that, then quit after re reaching my savings goal, I wouldn't see them anymore. Wouldn't that be just as sad? It'd be even harder if you were in love with a regular. Is that why you insist you'll never fall for a customer? Exactly. That's why I need to make sure I don't ever fall in love with someone I wouldn't say I wouldn't want to say goodbye to. <laughs> bet you're in love. In <laughs> bet you're in love already. Uh, that's the right decision. But if you know falling in love is going to hurt, you should stay away from falling in love. You think that way too? Yeah. If you seriously care about someone, you'll know when it's a love that you shouldn't go forward with. I figured as much. What the fudge? <laughs> so you want me to tell you to quit? <laughs> Why do you sound disappointed? You literally just said... I hate her. Have they? Because I'm getting a strong impression that they're not. I should give her pocket tissues. God. <laughs> I hate it. I hate you. <laughs> You're the worst. Are your eyes a little red? Oh, really? Maybe it's because I was watching a movie on DVD yesterday. DVD? <laughs> yeah, I rented a real tearjerker and I cried my eyes out. I see, what was it about? He sounded like he doesn't know what DVD was. Uh, well, there were a bunch of people and they all had problems, but they all turned out okay in the end. That's kind of broad. I was bawling toward the end, but my sister was watching it with me and she wasn't impressed. So I told her she was too young to understand and she countered with a jab that I'm too old. What do you think? Depends on the movie, age really matters, age doesn't matter. Age doesn't matter seems like a trap. But... It's not about your age, it's not like if you're elderly you're guaranteed to cry, it's about your personality. So you don't think my sister would cry during that movie, even when she gets older? Probably not. She's an adult already, so I don't think her... <laughs> I don't think her, her tastes will change too dr drastically at this point. I see, I feel... What the f... I hate her. <laughs> I'm gonna look up a cheat sheet, I swear to god. <laughs> I don't have time for this. We're getting mixed nuts. Boy, was I in a hurry today. I was almost late to work. If you're late, you have to pay a penalty fee, right? What? Ugh. Pretty steep. Uh, when it's bad, you're practically working for free for the night, so I make sure I'm never late. Why were you running late? I was almost late to my hair appointment, so I was rushing there. When my heel broke, I had to go buy a new pair of shoes, in fact. Just break off the other one. <laughs> then the salon was really crowded, even though I had an appointment, I still had to wait. That... <laughs> That's not how that works. Uh, could have taken a day off. You should leave earlier. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Sympathize. She's gonna get mad because I said sorry, but whatever. Uh, I had a feeling that you were about to come, so I rushed to get here. What, you rushed uh, when you're expecting me? Nutty. Uh, wouldn't you be disappointed if the girl you requested wasn't here? That's why. And from now on, I'll let you know when I'm coming. How did... Alright. <laughs> you have answered one thing correctly, sir. It's time to leave. Alright, raise it a minuscule amount.
Lately, my net sales numbers have dropped. My manager scolded me about selling more drinks. Uh, if you keep telling your customers that you've never go you're never going to fall in love with them, they won't request you. And so, I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? I want you to escort me to the club. Escort you here? You mean that thing where we go out on a date first and come to the club together, right? Uh, it's a quota we have to meet. Unless I get someone to escort me a few times per month, uh, I have to pay a penalty. What? <laughs> is, is that what they... Hmm, I think I got something out of order. <laughs> uh, but not going... No going out after hours. Um. Nani. Uh. Hmm. I don't mind helping you out. Do you escort other girls a lot or something? Why, are you curious? Not at all. Why would I be curious about that? You're just a customer to me. It's none of my business, even if you're seeing other girls outside this club. I mean it. By the way, if you escort me, there's an extra service charge added on, but that's alright with you, right? I'm not gonna be cheap here. If we're gonna- if we're going on a date, it'll be a proper one. Actually, I already have something planned for that, so leave it to me. Sounds expensive, looking forward to it. Um... Uh, <laughs> looking forward to it. Hey, I know it's weird for me to ask this, but are you sure you're alright with me asking you to escort? Uh, uh, whatever. Um, when a hostess asks a guy out, don't men think that we're trying to use you to pay for dinner and buy stuff? Well, it's not like you randomly decided it would be me, right? I'm honored that you were comfortable enough with me to ask. Oh, okay, sorry for the weird question. You're so easy to be with Kiryu. <laughs> this one's going a little easier. Better. Carbonara. I'm tired of spending money on you. <laughs> um, I've been thinking I should take a class. Why go back to school all of a sudden? I've been watching my coworkers and the ones who keep a day job seem to carry better conversations with their customers. When I think about it, my only experience is at a cabaret club. Um, so outside of that, I only know what the customers tell me. My conversations don't go deep. The more experiences you have in life, the more of it you can draw from to talk about, but wouldn't it be a lot of work to get a job just for some extra material? Exactly, that's why I thought if I took a class, I could go at my own pace. Even if I quit, it won't be trouble- it won't trouble anyone. Uh, you've already thought this through. Do you know what class you're gonna take? Actually, I'm stuck on that. I looked up some classes, but there's so many- there's so many options. If you have any recommendations, I'd love to hear them. Oh, 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 we- we've done this one already. Um... What did I initially say? I think I said martial arts. So... Cooking. How about a cooking class? That's a common class, and I've considered it, but would talking about cooking interest my guests here at the club? Some men actually cook nowadays. I'm sure they could use some tips from someone who's studied the art. Besides, the fastest way to a man's heart will always be through his stomach. Agreed. Learning to cook is never a waste. Really? Then I'll... A. Hey, then I'll think about it. Thanks for the suggestion. Okay, so... We're starting to get repeats. Um... I don't know... Yeah, there's the plastic surgery one. I can, I can just kinda grind through this one. Uh, god, you should both do it. I can't believe... Uh, what did I say? Let me go with your sister's choice. Oh! Yeah, no, I already did that one. Okay, cool. I guess I don't really need to cut it out. I don't think it really matters as much. Um, I can cut out the next round, though, I guess. If anything. Dang, I was hoping I could get another rank out of that. 